Hello everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Baltimore Orioles at Memorial Stadium. On the mound for Detroit is Bruce Robbins, whose record is 1-0 with a 2.25 ERA. And pitching for the Baltimore Orioles is Randy Jones, whose record is 0-1 with a 6.10 ERA. And so we were clobbered. We lost 18 to two, by far the worst loss of the year. And uh, there's nothing to say about it. Uh, Morris, uh, other than Morris uh, got off to a bad start in that game, uh, two terrible starts in a row for him. And then the bullpen just kept adding kindling to the fire and pouring gasoline on it, and kerosene, and uh, maybe some jet fuel. And it just took off, and there was nothing we could do. At one point, nine straight batters reached base for the Orioles. So they batted around uh, in one inning where they scored 10 runs. Uh, it was hard for me to uh, make any decision that worked. But uh, it was, it was uh, you know, it's just one loss, and we move on to today's game. And hopefully we'll be a little bit better. Uh, I did not make any changes to my bullpen. Uh, since tomorrow is technically a day off, um, after this game, I will be making some bullpen changes. Uh, you, can, you can book it. Uh, as you can see, we do have two bullpen uh, pitchers who are not available today, Replogal and Bob Stanley. So that means one righty in the bullpen. And that is a righty who could not get one batter out yesterday. He started the 10-run inning, uh, and he did not get a single batter out. And so, um, hopefully, we won't need to use him. But uh, I wouldn't count on it. As uh, Here's our lineup versus Randy Jones, who is a lefty. Uh, so we have our lineup versus lefties in. I moved things around a little bit. I put Stegman in the, in the leadoff role. I put... Sweet Lou with the bottom of the lineup. I have uh, Ed Putman, our catcher, playing first base. We're going to sit Thompson, who's struggling mightily out of the gate. And, uh, you know, Tom, Tom Brookins is a righty. He's in there at third. Barry Bunnell will be DHing today. So some, uh, some changes to the lineup that uh, are a little out of character. Let's go ahead and go down the uh, Tigers lineup here. And then we'll tell you about Randy Jones. Betting leadoff and playing center field is Dave Stegman. Betting second and at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Betting third in left field is Steve Kemp. Betting cleanup and catching today is Lance Parrish. Betting fifth in right field is Gary Hancock. Batting 6th and DHing is Barry Bunnell. Batting 7th at first base is Ed Putman. Batting 8th and playing 3rd base is Tommy Brookins. And batting ninth at 2nd base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Randy Jones. I got a lot to tell you about Randy Jones. First of all, this is a manufactured card by, um, by Jeremy. It's one of my favorite ones because it's kind of bad. Uh, but in a way where I really like it, the effort. Uh, he was actually um, signed as a free agent by the Orioles in this game uh, after suffering an injury last year by, uh, on the Padres. So um, he never actually played for Baltimore, and uh, we'll talk more about that in a minute. But uh, this is, this is a, a fun card. Uh, so Randy Jones is a fifth-round draft pick in 1972 by the Padres out of Chapman University, which is in uh, Orange, California. He won a Cy Young in uh, 1976, as you can see right here, his numbers. In uh, 1975, he finished second in the Cy Young voting. He's a two-time All-Star. Two times he finished 10th in MVP votes. Um, in 1973, uh, that was the year that he was called up uh, to Major League Baseball after being drafted in 72. Once he was called up, he never pitched another inning in minor league ball. After his 22 loss season in, in uh, 1974, he won 20 in 75. And he was voted comeback player of the year that year. 
And then in 1976, the year that he won the Cy Young, he started off that year at 16 and three, the most wins uh, before the All-Star break. Uh, no one has topped that since or equaled it. But afterwards, he went six and 11, and uh, he was most likely pitching with an injured arm. This is the thing that is, blows my mind. He pitched 315 innings. He had 25 complete games, five shutouts. He only had 93 strikeouts in 315 innings pitched. That is insane. Um, and uh, so, yeah, he got his arm basically blown out. He had nerve damage. He never really recovered from that. I, as you can see here, he pitched pretty well uh, for a couple seasons afterwards. He was eventually traded uh, to the Mets, and uh, he was done with baseball by 1982. Uh, let's see. His number 35 um, jersey is retired by the Padres, and he is in the Padres Hall of Fame. So some interesting notes. Oh, I was going to mention, the year that uh, he won the, um, the uh, Cy Young, 1976, he had a 4.7 war. He did lead the league in starts with 40. Tom Seaver, who won the Cy Young in 1975, when Jones finished second, Seaver actually had a, a much higher war than uh, Randy Jones. So as a stack compiler, uh, that's basically how he won the Cy Young Award uh, that season. So again, people didn't really know as much as they know now about baseball and statistics and how little um, wins really matter uh, to an individual uh, performer. So anyway, let's get the game going. Here's a Stegosaurus, Dave Stegman, batting leadoff against Randy Jones. Oh, he's going to take a, take a strike looking, and he strikes out. So Randy Jones, who doesn't strike out anybody, strikes out, out our leadoff hitter. Next up is Trammell. Trammell hits a ground ball to second, and it's booted by the second baseman, Phil Garner. So runner on first, Steve Kemp, who's betting 313 versus lefties. He hits lefties pretty well. We're going to give him a chance to swing away. Oh, he strikes out. So Randy Jones has two Ks. And uh, we're going to try to steal second base on uh, Glenn Borgman. Trammell was successful in yesterday's game stealing, but he is caught stealing here to end the inning. So we go to the bottom of the first. And uh, here is the lineup for the Baltimore Orioles. Batting leadoff and DHing is Mike Eden. Batting second at shortstop is Ken Pape. Batting third and at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup in left field is Jeff Burrows. Batting fifth in right field is uh, Ken Singleton. Batting sixth at, and in third base is Doug DeCince. Batting seventh and catching Glenn Borgman. Batting eighth and at second base is Phil Gardner. And batting ninth in center field is Ron LaFleur. Pitching for Detroit is Bruce Robbins. He only made one start this year in place of uh, the injured Milt Wilcox, and he did really well. He got a victory, pitched eight innings, uh, only had two Ks. Uh, pretty solid outing, and uh, he pitched, uh, he made four starts in last season. He went two and one and a pretty good ERA. So he's making a bid to take over a role in the starting rotation if Petrie doesn't work out, or at the very least, uh, sticking around in the bullpen. And uh, here's the defensive um, alignment for the uh, Detroit Tigers. So here we go. Batting uh, leadoff is Mike Eden. Had a pretty solid game. Every, every Oriole had a hit yesterday, as you might imagine, as uh, Eden hits a ground ball to second base. So one down. Here's Ken Pape, batting 273 overall. And he shoots it into left center field. It's going to be run down by... Kemp. That's two down. Next up is Hall of Famer Eddie Murray, betting only 226 on the year. And Robbins walks Murray. That's the first walk of the season for Robbins. That'll bring up cleanup hitter Jeff Burrows. Oh no, he walks Burrows as well. 
So runners at first and second. Ken Singleton's up. Only batting, what is that, 0 0.83 versus lefties. And, of course, he gets a base hit right up the middle. Murray scores, and it's one nothing Baltimore. So uh, runners on first and third for Doug DeSensei. This is the first time we're seeing him this season. And DeSensei strikes out swinging. So we limit the uh, damage to just one run, which feels like a victory in and of itself. We go to the top of the second. Lance Parrish will lead off. And Parrish hits a ground ball to third. He's thrown out for the first out. Next up is uh, Gary Hancock, batting 353 versus lefties, which is a total turnaround from last year. He even has two home runs against lefties so far. He hits a ground ball to short, and Pape throws him out. Next up is uh, Barry Bunnell, and Bunnell pops it up to short. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Jones. We go to the bottom of the second. one nothing Orioles. Glenn Borgman leading off against Bruce Robbins. And he gets a base hit opposite field. So runner on first. It's only the second hit given up by Robbins. Here's Phil Garner also making his first appearance of the year. He's going to get an infield single. Okay, so first and second base with Ron the floor up. And uh, he's playing center field today. He hits a line drive right at Putman. And uh, no double play there. So one down, runners at first and second. Back to the top of the lineup with Eden. And Robbins walks Eden. So now the bases are loaded. Three walks for Robbins. We're going to bring the infield in. We cannot afford to give up any runs. And that's a base hit up the middle by Pape. That scores two runs. It's three to nothing. And uh, we're going to play the uh, infield back, try to turn two. Nope. Base hit to center field. And it's three, uh, three runs this inning. It's four to nothing. On the RBI single by Eddie Murray. And it'll bring up Jeff Burrows. Base hit to left. <laughs> um, okay, so Robbins is at 54 pitches here in the second inning. And uh, this game is already out of control. As he strikes out Kenny Singleton. That's two down. For uh, Doug DeSensei. And DeSensei hits a ground ball to short. And that'll do it. We're down 5 nothing. We don't even have a hit on the board yet. And uh, Ed Putman will lead off the inning. He hits a ground ball to first. Next up is Tommy Brookins. And Brookins will get our first base hit to right field all the way to the wall. And he's got himself a double. That's his second double on the year. So runner on second. Back to the top of the lineup with Sweet Lou. And he hits it to short. The one base he wouldn't want to hit it to. And uh, Brookins has to hold at second base. That'll give Stegman a chance to drive him in. He hits it right into the dirt. And Borgman picks it up and throws him out. So at least we have a hit. We go to the bottom of the third. Glenn Borgman leading off the inning. And Borgman gets a base hit to right. This is frustrating. I mean, the Orioles are obviously a much better team than us, but um, I can't figure out why we're so bad. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense. As Robbins gets his third strikeout. And he follows that up with another K of uh, Ron LaFleur. So two down, runners on first. Runner at first, that's Borgman. And back to the top of the lineup with Eden. And Borgman, with a 69 speed, steals second base. So we're going to pull the outfield in. 
And Eden hits a ground ball to Whitaker at second. And that'll be the third out. So there we go. Kept them off the board. That's got to mean something, right? We go to the top of the fourth. Alan Trammell leading off. Trammell slaps it to right field. It's going to be caught on a line by Singleton. One down. Next up is Steve Kemp. Kemp hits a ground ball to third. And DeSensei makes the play. So two down for Lance Parrish. And Parrish grounds out to second. So another one, two, three inning. We have got nothing going on as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Ken Pape leading off against Robbins. And Pape hits a ground ball to second base. There's one out. Next up is Eddie Murray. Murray gets a base hit to right. That's eight hits against Robbins. And we may as well keep him in there. I mean, what are we going to do? Bring in someone from the bullpen? There's a ground ball. It gets past Putman at first. Murray takes third. And it's first and third. One out for Ken Singleton. The only good thing we have going for us is uh, Burroughs and Singleton are both slow. So maybe we can turn two. Nope. As Robbins walks Singleton. Now the bases are loaded for Doug DeSensei as Robbins is at 90 pitches. Strikes out DeSensei on an inside pitch. So bases are loaded with two outs for Glenn Borgman, who's two for two against uh, Robbins. So the odds are in our favor. And he hits it right into the dirt. And that's an error by Parrish. And a run scores. And now bases are loaded, remain loaded for Phil Garner. He hits a ground ball to Brookins. And that's the third out. So the Orioles get their sixth run on an error by Parrish. We go to the top of the fifth. It's 6 nothing. Gary Hancock leading off. And he's going to get a base hit to center field. We can always count on Gary Hancock. All right, let's try hitting and running against Randy Jones with uh, Barry Bunnell. Yeah, there we go. Base hit to right field. Hancock takes third. And uh, we have maybe a rally going here. We're going to let Putman swing away. And he hits a ground ball to third. Will that be two? Yep. So we get a uh, run on the double play. No RBI for Putman. But we're on the board. Tommy Brookins is up next, and he hits a line drive to right. Singleton makes the play. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 6-1. to one. And uh, Robbins is at 103 pitches. And uh, we're going to take him out. So Robbins not so strong in his second start. And we're going to bring in Dave Tobik. I mean, he's a righty. He is technically still alive, uh, so we need to throw him in there. And uh, I, like I mentioned yesterday, I think uh, not having the mustache is his weakness. As uh, Ron LaFleur steps in, and he pops it up, potentially an out. Let's see. There we go. So Tobik's way ahead of yesterday's game. As we get back to the top of the lineup with Mike Eden, and another pop-up induced to Sweet Lou. Hey! Two outs, and uh, Ken Pape up next. He's one for one against Tobik. I guess that probably happened in yesterday's game. As Pape hits a line drive right at Putman, that's a one, two, three inning for Tobik. Who is this guy? We go to the top of the six, six to one. Randy Jones is only at 68 pitches. Here's our number nine hitter, Sweet Lou. And Lou gets a base hit versus a lefty. There we go. So, runner on first. We'll let Dave Stegman swing away. He drives it to center field. Play is going to be made by around the floor. So, one out. Whitaker still on first for Trammell. And Trammell hits a ground ball right to short. 
They make the double play. We go to the bottom of the six. Six to one. Let's turn it over to the uh, in-game stats. I mean, I have no idea who um, would get the player of the game at this point. I guess it would be Tobik, just for basically showing up today. Eddie Murray's going to lead off the inning, and Tobik gets him to pop up in foul ground. Will Parrish make the play? He does. One down. Here's Jeff Burrows. Burrows strikes out swinging. Five consecutive outs for Tobik. That will bring up Kenny Singleton. Singleton drives it into left center field. And the play is made by Kemp. So back-to-back, -back, one, two, three innings by Tobik. We go to the top of the seventh. Let's see if we can get something going here. Kemp's going to pop it up to short. Pape makes the play. Next up is Parrish, 0 for 2 on the day. Keeping in mind, none of the Tigers have ever faced Randy Jones. Uh, so there's no stats to really go on. As uh, Gary Hancock has one of the Tigers' four hits. Strikes out looking. And we go to the seventh. It's 6 to 1. Baltimore. And uh, Tobik will go one more here. Oh, no. He walks Doug DeSensei. So runner on first for Glenn Borgman. And he gets a base hit to right. It's first and third as Hancock bobbles it out there, causing uh, DeSensei an opportunity to get to third. So first and third, nobody out. We're going to bring the infield in, just in case we have a chance. Oh, well, look at that. Tobik strikes out Phil Garner. That's two Ks for Tobik. That's the first out of the inning. So we're going to repeat that. You know what we're going to do, actually? We're going to leave... Uh, we're going to bring the corners in. We're going to leave the rest of the uh, middle infield back. And LaFleur strikes out. So back-to-back -back Ks for Tobik. And there's a chance he can get out of this inning. Uh, this is where we're going to bring in a lefty. We're going to turn Mike Eden around. And Tobik does lower his ERA to 1463. I don't know if that's going to be good enough to keep him uh, in the majors. And we're going to bring in Schatzader, who um, has definitely been overused, but he's somebody we can count on. So Eden's only batting 300 versus lefties, uh, which is better than... Uh, well, he was before with the right-hander. And so uh, he gets he strikes out. So Tigers strike out the side, recovering from uh, the two hits to start off the inning. We go to the top of the eighth, and uh, we still have a chance, right? Here's Barry Bunnell, uh, one for two on the day. Bunnell hits a ground ball to first. One down. Next up is Ed Putman. Oh, he strikes out swinging. He's 0 for 3. That'll leave it up to Tommy Brookins. And Brookins hits a ground ball to second. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And uh, we're hoping that Shotzi can get us through these next three batters. Ken Pape will lead off. And Pape pops it up on the infield. Actually to the outfield grass on the second base side. Play is made by Whitaker. It's one down. Here's easy Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray hits a home run to right field on a line. Just barely making it up its way to the uh, bleachers. 338 feet. And it's 7-1. to one. Next up is Jeff Burrows. Burrows has himself a home run against Shotzi in his career. But Schatzader strikes him out. That'll be the second out. And we just need to get Kenny Singleton out here. Nope. He hits it even farther than Murray did. 361 feet on a line drive. Frozen rope right into the bleachers. So two down. Here's Doug DeSensei. He gets a base hit to left. Runner on first. And Borgman 
strikes out. Two more runs by the Orioles, and it's eight to one. A couple solo shots, and uh, we go to the top of the ninth. I hope we never see the Orioles again, ever, as they are the class of the uh, American League East. Sweet Lou flies out to left. Dave Stegman with one down. He's 0 for 3 with a strikeout. He strikes out for the second time. Five Ks for Jones. It's going to leave it up to Trammell. And Trammell grounds out to short. That is the worst series I think we've ever had uh, in the uh, year and a month that we've been playing. And Bruce Robbins will be out for a month, essentially. 25 days for Bruce Robbins. We are getting Wilcox back. He'll make he'll be in, in the uh, lineup. Holy shit. The A's are willing to trade Ricky Henderson to our team for Shot Sater for Rick Russell. 5 years of Rick Russell at that price. Ed Putman, my backup catcher and a minor leaguer that I had no design for. Um, and Dan Schatzader. And we get Ricky Henderson for three years. How can I say no to that? I cannot say no to that. Uh, I'll, all I have to do is get um, Jeremy DeYoung to make a, a Ricky Henderson card in a Detroit Tigers uniform. Uh, he's on vacation for two more days. But when he gets back, that is going to be uh, the first thing. So this is a let's talk situation. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see uh, what the if we balance the cash. Okay, the trade is already balanced. Do they have a relief pitcher that they can throw in? We're going to be shaving off so much payroll. Um, we're just scrolling through really quick and uh, looking. Um. So they have Bob Lacey, who's in his last year of his contract. What's his story? So he's in AAA, and he's a lefty. Let's see if they'll throw in Bob Lacey. We could use Bob Lacey. Submit the offer. Oh, they love it. So we'll take Bob Lacey. We'll see if we need to do some, uh, some uh, changes in our bullpen. What a great deal for us. Um, super excited about that. That makes me feel a little bit better about the uh, loss of Bruce Robbins. And let's take a look. Is there any other notes? Uh, yeah, so Bruce Robbins, of course, injured for three weeks. John, the Count of Montefusco, is out for a whole month. Uh, four weeks is really a month. I don't know if they know that in San Francisco. Uh, Candy Maldonado will be out for four months. And there is the trade that Detroit makes with Oakland. Pretty damn good. Let's pull up the box score and we'll get out of here. That's the one good thing about um, that series. We have uh, the next day off, and I will take that day off. That'll be tomorrow, Monday. And then we will um, come back with a revamped lineup. Robbins takes the loss, one and one. Randy Jones gets the win, one complete game, no surprise. If you throw 25 complete games in a season, Eddie Murray gets his third home run of the year. Kenny Singleton, his first bomb, and uh, we scored our run on a ground into a double play. So, not great, but we have a new leadoff hitter, folks. So, come back on uh, Tuesday, and let's see what we look like then. Until Tuesday, everyone have a great night.